Oi! Welcome back um, to the second workshop session this week. So the first workshop video, I was prepping uh, an Astyosaurus in a nice bowl. Uh, we revealed the middle of the Ammonite, or I did. You didn't do it, I did. Uh, and then, you know, my battery ran out. Uh, so I roll. Um, yeah, the thing with the, that, the, these workshop sessions as well is I've, I'm going to try and get more content up and out. So I've not got ages and hours to spend editing. So if you have to watch a bit of time lapse without any music on it, do you know what I mean? That's how it's got to be. That's how I'm, that's how I'm rolling. And if I just want to end the mid videos abruptly, that's how it's, that's how it's going to be. <laughs> that's how I roll. Uh, but yeah, uh, so do you want to do you want to see? Uh, so I put at the end that I did actually finish it, and here it is. Let's have a look. It's quite nice. That's how it turned out. I've still got a bit of finishing off, and you know when I said as well on that video, I said uh, I was holding it. Here, I said when when the cat when it, when it gets uh, a bit further round here, it might mess it up a bit. It did take the shell off that calcite vein. You sort of see how it took the shell off there. Can't get in focus. That's what it did to it. So it took that shell off there. But this still needs finishing. Now, in my air abrasive unit, that's my air abrasive just here. That's my refrigerant dryer to keep the air all nice and dry. So in that, what I've got is uh, I've got I've got dolomite. I'm using I'm using dolomite in there. Now, dolomite is 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 you know. It, it's not got an amazing cutting action. It's quite a, a sort of mellow abrasive to use and it's cheap as well. I think 20, 25 kilogram, 20 kilogram bags, about 20 quid, 15 quid, something like that. But anyway, uh, so I've not got any aluminium oxide, which is uh, a different abrasive that you can uh, uh, that you can put in the machine in that little bit at the top there. Uh, and that's got a, uh, the crystal structure in that is really, kind of angular and it's, it's got a lot more cutting action uh, it's a lot more expensive hence why i've not got any uh so i need some of that to actually get in and, and get rid of this bit down here and actually get under it so this one's not finished it looks quite nice looks pretty uh well that's going to sit there for a bit i think Oop, get rid of that uh so yeah that's going to sit there uh tonight i don't know what to do uh the world is my oyster. Um, I've got a few bits that I want to get done, but first of all, I've got a bit of flat stone down here waiting to be whacked. Now it's got a bit of a cool shape. Like these bits here look really promising. So I'm hoping there's going to be a nice ammonite sat in there. It's probably, probably going to be blank. Probably going to be blank. But if you look on the edges here as well, uh, you can sort of see that there's some nice ammonites in there. So I thought if we just put a bolt, uh, a chisel in here uh, and give it a thwack. Goggles, safety first. Give it a thwack. See what happens. Oh, that sounded good. Is it split? That is bit. Split a bit around there. Blank. 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 Blankety blank check book and pen. Blankety blank. Right, let's give it another whack. A bit of a, a, a line going down. Let's see if we can carry it on.
blank. Got a fish scale. Fish scale. That's a shame, that. I, I would have sworn blind there'd have been something nice in that bad boy. Yeah, well. I'll, uh, I'll put them on over there and be too whacked down into smaller pieces. But there's no big or exciting in that one, sadly. Just give it a. Exciting. Which is a shame. Oh, should have just whacked it down on beach. Alright, we've got this one. This one's the same type of nodule from the same spot I got the Asti from. Now look, what we've got on here are you got the signs. See the ammonite squashed on the outside. It's a beautiful shape. Jeepers. Yeah. Got some ammonite bits in it, but yeah. Again, quite disappointing. That's how it goes. Oh, I forgot to have my goggles on for that last bit. Remember, if you're gonna be whacking rocks, always put your, your googlies on. You know, people think that Every rock that you hit is going to have something in it that's going to be amazing. Like you're going to whack a rock and, you know, uh, and that, that just don't happen. You know, I had two promising rocks. I had to put money on and being uh, some nice big ammonite, especially in the first one, that little sh that dishy shape, you know, sort of. I had to put money on that and I lost. I don't know. You win some, you lose some. I've got to work out what I'm going to do now. I've already buzzed a tiny bit just to check it. Um, this is from one of them bit of Bellum Night Mall, so I'll show you. So this is what it looks like on this side. It's all blown and gone, but it's still there on this side. So even though that looks like an absolute mess, it's still a chance that I can clean it and get some looking nice from that side and I found as well found a nice little gastropod sat on it there as well so we can give that a little bit of a tickle out and a bit of a clean but uh but yeah uh this will be a tricky one to do because you can see it's got these little spines so I've aero braided these pen down touch the tops of them uh you can't really see it very well so yeah this one's for Family Schneider. Family Schneider, this one's for you. Uh, this is your ammonite. I do apologise that it's took me ages to get around to doing it. Well, let's crack on. Let's see what we can do. Uh, this rock's a lot harder than that. Um, so it's going to take a lot longer. But uh, I can have a few hours on it tonight, see how far we can get. So what I'm doing now is just getting close. So I see on this bit here, just getting as close as I can without touching it, just taking that rock off and then I'll aerobraid that off because the aerobrasive machine is a lot gentler. It's a lot more gentler. Uh, you know, it's not as aggressive. So, so what I'm gonna try and do is it's coming around here. I'll try and basically leave it in like a little bit of a, Sort of clean all these little bits up and have that like a little seabed with just a little dish in there, I think. So I don't think I'm going to take too much more off this bit. Probably take it to about on the back bit, take it to about here. So it comes up and then it'll sort of just to give it that support as well. But yeah, hopefully. Oh, jeebus. Yeah, hopefully. If I don't break it, it should be nice.
what I've done is I've penned just tickled the tops or tickled the bits where they're broken and uh, you know prior fossilization uh, and just tickled those and then given it a bit of an air braid um, so you, what you want to do is just tip touch you want to just touch the tips of the ribs basically look you sort of see how spike it is it's got these rows of spines like I say I'm hoping that it's going to be there in the middle on this side uh, yeah sort of see the next one in, in, in the row in the row there sort of see it just poking out there so you've got to be really careful so what you want to do is as well is like I'm leaving rock on here I'm leaving that rock on there to support it as I'm penning because it's a lot of vibration you don't want to just ping them off like that one it's out of the danger zone now this one it's out of the danger zone so he's free oh. <coughs> Bob Fleming. <coughs> so yeah, we'll give this a waz. Do a bit more abrasive work. I think that's where I'm going to leave it for tonight. My face is feeling a bit crazy. I mean, it looks. Don't look like we've done much to it. So I mean, we're getting there slowly, slowly. That's how it is. You know, it's not a, an instant, an instant process. I've had a few hours on that now, tonight, and uh, looks like I've not touched it. So, you know, if you are going to be getting into prepping fossils, if you are going to be getting into prepping fossils, and you really want to get into it, you know, just be be aware that, like I say, it's it's takes time you need patience but it's seeing it come out as well as you're doing it and it's coming out it's amazing um, so let me look at this so yeah I think uh, that one's gonna be finished next video I think workshop session three not finished it might it might take a couple of sessions that one uh, sometimes to do that you'll find that you know leaving it a bit coming back to it with a bit of fresh eyes helps because you know when it's that intense work it can get to the point where you're a bit like oh just you know get your head adios